Hi, I'm George Taylor. I'm on the Web Pro Engineering team here at Adobe. And I'm here to show you a demo of CSS3 Media Query support in Dreamweaver. Now, this is still pretty experimental. The, the teams have been working hard to uh, figure out the best way for Dreamweaver support some of the emerging HTML5 and CSS3 features with a special eye towards um, helping with cross-device authoring. Now, for this demo, we're going to be using the uh, the home page of this fictional restaurant. And the idea will be um, to create multiple versions of this home page uh, for different screen sizes so that users that might hit this page with a smartphone or from a netbook would get a page design that's, that's suitable for, for those screen sizes. So let's go into Dreamweaver and show how we might do that with, with media query support. Um, and I'm going to start by showing you something new that we've prototyped here called the NUP preview. And what you're seeing here is you're seeing our page loaded into three different screen sizes, a small screen, medium screen, and large. And you can think of these as being represented as smartphones, um, netbook or tablet devices, and um, desktop. And of course, what you're seeing here is that um, the same page design is being used for all three screen sizes. And that's not really ideal. What we'd really like to do is have uh, uh, layouts that are better suited to each of the uh, to the medium screen and small screen size so that when a user hits those pages on, on a device, they don't have to do a lot of zooming and panning to try to get to the information that they want. So we'll see how we might do that with, uh, with media query support here in Dreamweaver. And we're going to start by um, changing uh, the way that this main CSS file is being linked in. We really only want the main CSS uh, to be applied for large screens. So let's create a media query here and specify a minimum width of, let's say, 960 pixels. And so what we're saying here with this, with this media query is that main.css should only be used for screens that are larger than 960 pixels. Save that and now take a look at our NUP view. And you can see that our media query works. The large screen size is getting the main.css file, uh, which is what we want. But medium screen and small screen uh, currently have no CSS associated with them. This is okay because the next step uh, is to associate specific CSS files for those two screen sizes. So let's do that. Then. So what I'm going to do here is attach a medium screen CSS file to my page. And this is something I've already created ahead of time. So this medium screen CSS has rules in it already for my medium screen design. And what you're seeing here uh, is Dreamweaver's Attach External Style Sheet dialog. Uh, and it's been updated, updated in this prototype to let me enter some uh, media query information. So let's define our medium screen size as being between 480 and 960. Okay, we've added that uh, link into our code now. And our media uh, query information is here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our end up view again. Now we can see that the medium screen is picking up the medium screen CSS file and uh, showing us a, a layout that is more optimal for the screen size. So using CSS, we've made some layout changes uh, to try and narrow the overall design here. We've got the logo on top, the menu down below instead of right next to the logo, a smaller background image for the top image. And we've got a two column arrangement for the pods in this design as opposed to the four column arrangement that we had in the large screen version. Another way that I can see my media queries in action is by looking at uh, my designs in the, in the slider view. So here I can actually dynamically adjust the viewport. And as I cross over the different thresholds that were defined by my media queries, I can see my other CSS files kick in. There we just went from our large screen where main.css was being used um, to now to our medium screen size range where the medium screen CSS is being used. If I keep going and I drop below 480 pixels, now um, we're into small screen territory and we don't have any CSS here yet because we haven't associated a special CSS file for this screen size range. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go through the same steps as before using uh, Dreamweaver's attached CSS dialog here. I'm going to choose my small screen CSS file and then define small screen, my small screen range to be between 
320 and 480. Okay, now let's take a look at our NUP view again. And here we can see now that uh, small screen.css is being picked up for the small screen case. And we have, uh, again, some design changes that, that were made to try and better accommodate this screen size. Uh, the top menu is more compacted and semi-stacked. We have all of our pods lined up vertically in a, in a single column, smaller images being used within the pods. Um, and in general, now you can see in one view here uh, the various uh, flavors of this home page, um, each layout adapted to better suit the, the specific um, screen size for these different for different devices. And again, I can flip over into my slider view and get a good feel for how my uh, how my layouts are adapting across the different screen size ranges. So here's my uh, main CSS for the large screen, my medium screen CSS for my medium screen uh, size range, all the way back now down to uh, small screen size. So you can see that for this use case, where um, where when you're what you're trying to do is adapt existing Web, an existing web page or existing web content to, uh, to different screen sizes, um, that CSS media queries are actually a really handy tool. There will be times, of course, when you want to go deeper than this and you want to do more optimization. Um, for example, if you want to build uh, you know, a web application where you want to take advantage of a device's native APIs or you want to match the look, native look and feel of a particular device. Uh, in those cases, you uh, CSS and media queries will probably not um, get you there um, by themselves. You'll probably need to do some server-side user agent detection and also take advantage of some JavaScript frameworks um, to, to help you get there. And that's a use case that we are looking into as well and hope to have some, some feature ideas to share in the near future around that use case. But for now, we'd love to get your feedback on what you've seen in this demo, uh, both the features that were presented as well as the general use case here uh, for, for media queries. And with that, I will sign off until next time.